Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Each week I film the cloud computing tech news and shows and I really appreciate all the support on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. It means so much to me and the Nelson Hilliard crew. Make sure you remember to click on the notification bell when you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of the latest shows. If you like cloud tech blogs on cybersecurity, blockchain and all cloud tech topics, be sure to check out and subscribe to our latest blogs. Below there is a link. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Lindicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And this week we are pleased to announce that we have a special guest, Amit Zavery, who is the executive vice president for Oracle Cloud. And if you don't want to watch David and I talking on the shows, all the shows are on Stitcher and iTunes as podcasts. I've also included a link below. Remember to connect and reach out to me and my team below in the description box are the social media links for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. This week researchers have discovered another security flaw in Intel security chips, the third one this year after Spectre and Meltdown. The flaw was discovered by researchers from the Israel Institute of Technology, the University of Michigan, the University of Adelaide and the Catholic University of Louvain. The flaw allows an attacker to steal sensitive information stored on personal computers or third-party clouds. According to their research report, Foreshadow has two versions, the original attack designed to extract data from Intel SGX enclaves and a next-generation version, which affects virtual machines, hypervisors, operating system kernel memory and system management mode memory. Cloud threat defense company Redlock's Cloud Security VP Matthew Chiodi said, What's interesting about the Intel disclosure is that researchers simply followed the thread left by Spectre and Meltdown. This isn't a completely new class of vulnerabilities. Public cloud titans Google, Microsoft and AWS quickly responded to Foreshadow by updating their respective infrastructures and services. It only takes one party, one weak link in the chain for the exposure to remain. This week sees former Google Cloud account management leader Shahid Nazami become the new managing director for HubSpot Asia Pacific. In his new role at HubSpot, Nazami will be responsible for the company's performance in New Zealand, Australia, Southeast Asia and India. He will be based in Singapore and will work closely with both the Singapore and Sydney teams. Shahid previously led Google Cloud's Asia-Pacific account management business, where he managed a team that was spread across six different locations. He has also held several leadership positions at Oracle and has a deep understanding of the Asia-Pacific market. HubSpot's Senior Vice President and Managing Director of International, G2 Matam, said Shahid's experience leading sales teams to drive new business, combined with his success in expanding an install base, is going to be key for HubSpot as we expand in APAC. Shahid brings a wealth of knowledge to HubSpot, which will have a huge impact on how we help our customers and partners to grow better in APAC and beyond. We're incredibly excited to welcome him to the team. Congratulations, Shahid, on your new role at HubSpot from all of us at Nelson Hilliard. This week, Alibaba Cloud launches Apsara Stack and new services worldwide. Alibaba Cloud is launching nine new product offerings outside of China, which the cloud giant says will support digital transformation and drive new opportunities in the Asia-Pacific region. Available globally, the new services cover a wide range of capabilities, such as search, backup as a service, dedicated hosting, security, data lake analytic capabilities, and machine learning. There is also a software-defined wide area network, SD WAN solution, designed to help retailers connect to the cloud, created in partnership with China Unicom Global. Also made available outside China would be Apsara Stack, the company's on-premise offering that lets enterprises run the Alibaba Cloud within their own data center as part of a hybrid private cloud deployment. Apsara Stack will be delivered in collaboration with Hewlett Packard Enterprises. While similar to Microsoft's Azure Stack, Alibaba says Apsara Stack is not subject to deployment limits and can be scaled as needed. This week, Microsoft rolled out Azure Stack for Azure US government agencies. Microsoft is adding Azure Stack to its US-based Azure government service, 
offering federal organisations the possibility of hosting some workloads using its private cloud and infrastructure. Government agencies have particular needs in terms of latency, connectivity and compliance. Whatever the use case, by introducing the service, Microsoft is likely to attract more US government income than its cloud rivals, none of whom offer on-premise infrastructure. Chasing the highly lucrative public sector contracts has been an obvious element of the company's strategy in the recent years. Following the introduction of its government cloud in 2014, Microsoft launched a dedicated service for the US military defense contractors and agencies with security clearance from the Department of Defense. The company is also contending for the Pentagon's 10 billion US dollars Joint Enterprise Defense Infrastructure or JEDI cloud contract to serve US defense deployments around the world using a dedicated cloud system. Though it seems almost likely that the contract will go to the rival and world's top cloud provider, AWS or Amazon Web Services. I'm Brad Nelson and thanks for watching this week's Cloud Tech News. Get in touch if you have a company news story that you'd like to feature on the shows. You can email us at media at nelsonhilliard.com and remember to like, subscribe, comment and share the video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn. Find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and you can check out the latest shows with David Lindicum and the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.